National Geographic Kids Cats by Joan Marie Gallet. Chapter 1 Big Cats and Little Cats. Cats hide and sneak, then leap and pounce. All cats are meat eaters with sharp teeth and claws. But cats can also be very different. Some are tame and others are wild. House cats are called tame because they are gentle and not afraid of people. Other cats are wild. There are 36 types of wild cats. They live around the world except for in Australia, Antarctica and on some islands. Wild cats eat, sleep and raise their young in an area called a home range. Wild cats guard the area where they live. They often live far from people. Wild cats can be very big or very small. The rusty spotted cat can weigh as little as a pineapple, about two pounds. It often climbs to the top of the rock or tree and then listens for prey below. It hunts birds, small mammals, frogs, lizards, and insects. This small cat is a fast climber. It can run up a tree to stay safe. Some large cats belong to a group called the big cats. Leopards, jaguars, and lions are big cats, but tigers are the largest. A tiger can weigh up to 700 pounds, almost as heavy as four men. A leopard isn't the biggest cat, but it's strong. It can carry heavy prey up a tree. Wild cats need a habitat with a water source and enough food to hunt. They live in both hot and cold places, including deserts, jungles, grasslands, forests, and mountains. Both big and small wild cats are skilled at taking care of themselves. They find what they need to survive. Tame cats are skilled at finding what they need too. They live with people but still know how to hunt for food. Your turn. Cats can be tame or wild. How can you tell which cats live with people and which cats are wild? Chapter 2 a cat's body. Whether they are big or small, wild or tame, all cats are skilled hunters. Sharp teeth and claws help them capture prey. A mammal, bird or fish will make a tasty meal. Some cats hunt big animals. Four big front teeth help them catch their prey. Most cats can push out their claws to hunt. They use their curved claws to capture and hold prey. They also use their claws to dig into the ground. That helped them run faster. A cat's sharp claws grab onto a tree trunk. This helps the cat climb up and up. Cats use their tail to balance. Turning their tail different ways can help cats climb, leap, or walk across a tree branch or fence. If they fall, cats almost always land on their feet. Cheetahs turn their tail when they run. This helps them change direction quickly. Cats get a lot of information from their whiskers. The long hairs can feel nearby objects. Whiskers can tell a cat the size of a mouse's hole. They help cats find their way in the dark too. Whiskers can feel tiny changes in the air. This tells a cat when prey is on the move. Your turn. Look at each part of the cat's body and match it with the correct word. Teeth, whiskers, claws, tail. A, B, C, D. Chapter 3. Survival. Wild cats can survive in different parts of the world. Canada lynx live in northern forests. Large paws help them walk over deep snow to look for prey. The paws act like snowshoes so they don't sink into the snow. Lynx travel many miles every day to look for food. Their thick winter coats keep them warm. The fishing cat lives near swamps, streams, and rivers. It searches for its food and water. Webs on the cat's front feet help it swim after prey. Large claws help it hold slippery fish. Fishing cats can swim underwater. Their thick fur keeps them dry. 
Sand cats live in the desert. The sand is hard to step on, but sand cats have long, thick hairs on the bottom of their paws. The hairs protect their paws from heat as the cats travel across the sand. Sand cats have soft, thick fur. Their coat protects them from hot days and cold nights. Cheetahs can be found in open areas and grasslands. The fastest animals on land, cheetahs, have bodies that are built to run. They have long legs and light bones that help them sprint toward their prey. Cheetahs slowly sneak up close to their prey. Then they sprint at top speed. Whether they are big or small, most cats prefer to live and hunt alone. The African lion is different. Between 3 and 40 lions may live together in a pride. The lions hunt together. Teamwork helps them survive. Your turn. Cats have adaptations or special body parts that help them survive in their environments. How do you adapt to your environment? Chapter 4. Cat Talk. Cats communicate to let other cats know when they should stay away and when it is okay to come close. They use sounds, movements, and smells to send messages. Cats may growl or bare their teeth. Some cats send a signal when they scratch tree trunks. Some cats leave a smell when they scratch. The smell means the cat lives here. Some wild cats make loud sounds to send messages to other animals. Lions roar to communicate with other cats and to warn them, stay away, this is my space. Lions roar when they have food to protect. Some other animals may try to grab a bite. Cats use body movements to send messages without making a sound. The end of a leopard's tail twitches when it spots prey or feels excited. A leopard will raise its tail to lead cubs through tall grass. The white tip on the leopard's tail makes it easy to see. Some wildcats raise their tail when they greet each other. Others rub cheeks to say hello. House cats share messages too. They hold their body a certain way or make a face that shows if they are happy or relaxed. Adult cats meow to share messages with people. A meow may mean hello or look at the mouse I caught. A meow can also mean feed me. Wild cats and tame cats both make sounds to get what they need. They are alike in many ways. Your turn. Look at each cat's actions. What do you think the cat is saying? The end.